Go Alright, continuing on, we do have uh, three um, Triple Tactics Talents in the main, and then three Forbidden Droplet as well. Uh, these cards are just really crazy this format. With the lack of Omni Negation, uh, you can always use Talents to steal your opponent's Apollosa until people learn to stop making that on their end board. Um, and then Droplet's just insane, unless you're under Shifter. Uh, next up, Extra Deck. Uh, real quick, just Colossus um, and the uh, Trishula uh, Dragon of Imprisonment as your fusions. Uh, you guys all know Colossus. Welcome back from the ban list. Uh, but this allows you to get your Dragon Link deck into your Thunder Dragon um, uh, engine. So uh, any three dragons on the field, you can banish them uh, from your side of the field to special summon this. Then you banish a card from the top of your opponent's deck. Uh, you get to look at your opponent's extra deck and banish one of those cards. And then you also banish one card that you choose from your deck. So you're banishing one of your Thunder cards, and then you get to go your full Thunder combo, and then you have a Dragon on board to link off into Heavenly Spheres. So really strong. Uh, this is only really good, comes up against decks that lose to Colossus, and you didn't draw into an engine that can get you there. Just Dragon Link can get you into this. So that's why you play this, because Colossus is that powerful and oppressive. Next up, Synchros, we only play the one. Chaos Angel, really strong. Uh, Battery Man Solar can make this. White Dragon Collab Serpent. Uh, that's usually your light, and then you sync it off with a Bestial to make your um, Chaos Angel that's immune to everything. Next up, this replaced Savage Dragon. So, it's any two level four dark monsters. You don't have to sync or summon with Tracer. You summon this on the board, and then your opponent is forced to out it. If they normal or special summon, not once per turn, detach a material, Book of Moon it face down. So against Kashira, you Book of Moon their stuff. Against Snake Eyes, you Book of Moon both of their summons. The, no one's doing anything to this unless they have an Imperm or a Droplet or something to get rid of this. Because this is literally two Book of Moons. Uh, insane. Uh, next up, we do play Hope Harbinger. You have a bunch of level um, uh, eights, uh, and sometimes you can't end on your Chaos Angel to protect your monsters from battle. So if you need to protect your SP Little Knight or your Apollosa, you can summon out your Hope Harbinger. You can negate one spell, and you can redirect the attacks to this 3,000 body so that it protects you so that your Apollosa and your SP get the full value. Um, I opted to not play um, the um, zombie vampire because I don't have access to the horse package, which uh, will let you do the zombie vampire before you start your other plays. When you have two level eights, you're already playing, so you're not going to want to summon the zombie vampire. Uh, so that's why I hope Harbinger's in here. Next up for the links, the rest is links. Uh, Striker Dragon, Pisty, Spheres, Romulus, Triple Burst. Uh, none of these like are, are these are standard. Um, also the Boral End as well. And then uh, some of the other ones are the IP Mask Arena and the SP Little Knight. And then finally, uh, the two other Link 4s that we play, or the only Link 4s, are Saryuja Skaldred and Apollosa. I mentioned uh, Saryuja in the, earlier in the deck profile. All right, finally, uh, the spicy side deck. We do have the one token for our Battery Man Solar. Mandatory effect to summon a token when you summon a Thunder. Um, three Dimension Shifter. So this oh. deck doesn't necessarily lose to Shifter um, with, with certain hands. Interesting. Um, it's because uh, the Thunder Dragon cards don't necessarily need the graveyard. And if your opponent loses harder to Dimension Shifter than you do, you can put this in, guarantee they don't play, and then summon a Colossus and pass. They're not, they're not playing through that. Um, so that's the, the idea for Shifter. Now, you guys are going to laugh. <laughs> oh my god. In the mirror, I feel like this would be good. Because it shuts off the entire Chaos Engine, and uh, people might be messing with... Um, Thunder Dragon Dino or something like that. There's a lot of strategies that are dependent upon banishing. This might even be good against Fluandries or Kashtira in certain matchups. That's why I played the three Lancia. It also works really well with your Gamma and your Delta. So if you happen to draw these two or your Gamma and your Lancia, uh, at the end phase, after you activated this, you don't have to banish the driver and the uh, the gamma or the delta, which gives you two bodies to start your turn with, uh, which automatically applies applies pressure. I wish I had room in the extra deck for Cypher and Lord Omega, because that would be nice, but uh, this is 60 cards, so you're not going to be synchro summoning for eight very often, especially a light monster, because um, Tracer locks you into darks. But uh, Lancia works really well with the deltas. Uh, next up, the rest is spells. We do have the one thrust. Um, this is better for going second because there's nothing good to set off of this that you want to activate unless your opponent controls a monster, so you can just add it to your hand. Monster Reborn, you can out your opponent's princess uh, with this one and then uh, beat over their fire, um, and then you don't, and then you could just like tribute over it with your Bestial or your Shifter or the Lancia. You have a ton of tribute one monsters. The whole Th Thunder Dragon engine is tribute one monsters, so um, Monster Reborn can be u utilized for that. Um, next up, Harpy Duster. 
and three cosmic cyclones. Uh, just is that the one that you pulled? Background. Yes, this is the one I pulled. Uh, I pulled this as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, any ultis that I have, I pulled. I didn't yes. have budget for life, baby. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the, the video. Subscribe for more.